Hi, my name is Katie Salen. I am the executive director of a small nonprofit called the Institute of Play. Um, and I'm also serving as a keynote speaker at the Systems Thinking in Action Conference this fall in Seattle. I am a game designer by background, um, and I also have an academic position at DePaul University where I teach game design there in the School of Computing and Digital Media. And I'm most interested at the intersection between games and learning, and that's been the basis of my work for about 10 years. So one of the key bodies of work that, that we've been involved with um, at the Institute is developing some new schools. And so we've opened a public school in New York City in fall 2009 called Quest to Learn, and we're opening a sister school in Chicago this fall called Chicago Quest. And it's a school that's been designed from the ground up around principles of game design and systems thinking. The reason that we uh, brought the systems thinking piece into the main pedagogical frame of the school is that we think that being able to think systemically in the 21st century um, is probably the most important thing um, that we can do to help young people get prepared to thrive and work um, and grow and be lifelong learners. And we have a deep um, agenda around sort of social justice and empowerment and really giving kids the tools to be able to take action in the world. And we feel like... Um, a curriculum that's really focused on systems thinking, really focused on helping them understand um, notions of complexity, um, the ways in which uh, things might change over time, to begin to look for patterns, for trends, to understand leverage points. Um, all of these are skills and tools that will allow kids, as they continue to kind of grow, to uh, make choices in the world and, and ideally begin to make change. We also have a focus on design, so we care deeply about um, kids making change by making things in the world. Um, and design has a strong kind of parallel to a lot of the ideas around systems thinking. So there's a nice dovetail there. So my background is in game design. Um, and one of the reasons that I became so interested in making games is that I started using them in my classes to teach about interactive design and ways of engaging people. Um, and as I started to bring games into, into my own classroom, my college classrooms, um, I began to really understand what great models they were for understanding how systems work. Um, and at their heart, games are simply dynamic systems. And what game designers are doing is trying to think about, well, what are um, sets of rules, sets of constraints that I can design that will stylize what my player is doing in certain ways, um, allow them to make choices within this little mini system. Games are these beautiful little models um, that show us how systems work. They provide really deep experiences for people to feel um, like what it uh, feels like to be within a system and to make changes to that system and to observe changes in that system over time. And so when, as we begin to think about the connections between games and learning, there was this natural parallel between the systemic nature of games and the types of competencies that we really think, again, matter in the 21st century. And so systems thinking was a natural, a natural outgrowth of that interest in games. One interesting thing in the school is that we talk about it being integrated at the highest level around systems thinking. And so every year, there's a systems thinking theme or big idea. So for sixth graders, they're just working on the idea of uh, what is the structure or architecture of a dynamic system. Um, and all of the classes that they're taking in the traditional subjects like math and science and social studies and ELA um, have been designed to get at some essential questions and enduring understandings around structures of systems. And so it's a really interesting way to think about structuring a curriculum. Um, and the students use a lot of different um, types of tools, including games, um, as a way to get at, get at those understandings and begin to build skills um, in thinking systemically and beginning to uh, understand notions of um, sort of dynamics and uh, ch change over time. So one of the most interesting classes I think that we have in the school is a design and technology class called Sports for the Mind. Um, and the classes in the sixth grade is a year-long game design curriculum. Um, and we think it's the linchpin of the whole curriculum in the school because it is the class in which kids deep... Uh, dig sort of most deeply into the systems thinking stuff in really, really concrete ways. So we found through our work that when kids make games, um, what they're doing is they're building systems. Um, and in that challenge of building systems, it gives us all kinds of opportunities to work with kids around the core principles. And so that's been a very powerful tool in the school, kids um, building games, building models, building simulations. 
Uh, and we think that, again, that ability to design systems um, goes hand in hand with sort of being able to understand and analyze systems. And so we um, use that really as another kind of core skill in the school and a core um, goal we have for it. Um, as kids get older, get older, move into high school, that they are the ones that are going to be building systems in the world. Game design is a very, very interdisciplinary kind of cross-sector discipline. It requires participation of people from a lot of different backgrounds. Um, the work that we do involves people from kind of entrepreneurial or social innovation spaces. Um, it involves educators. It involves um, business strategists. It involves game designers, technologists. Um, and so the school itself tries to model this notion of the coming together of a lot of different types of disciplines um, that are doing some really hard and really good thinking around um, what, is, what does it mean to, to work with systems, what does it mean to, to educate people with, um, uh, within a kind of frame around systems thinking. And the goal of the work is to produce um, uh, examples, curriculum, uh, conceptual frameworks, tools, games, technologies, types of things that then can move out of the school and be taken up and used by folks in a lot of different kinds of contexts, whether they're educational contexts or whether they're business contexts. At the Institute, we do a fair amount of um, consulting and workshop work with um, businesses, people in industry that are looking to change the way that they think about their work um, and what they do. And we found that the work with the schools has produced a whole basis of knowledge and a body of knowledge um, that allows us to um, engage with those folks um, and get them to sort of think about um, new ways of thinking uh, related to systems and design and uh, making change in the world. I'm really excited to be at the conference in, uh, in Seattle in the fall, partially because uh, We've been engaged in this work for a number of years, but we've never been able to engage directly uh, with a community of people who really uh, started this work. And so um, just really excited to exchange ideas, share the types of things that we are learning um, and be able to learn from everybody else at the conference. So it's, uh, I think it's going to be fantastic.